What's my mo- <laughs> I'm celebrating J-Lo winning the Vanguard Award last night on the VMAs, which I did not watch, but I love the song um, that she has with Ja Rule, and Ja Rule comes in, he's like, what's my mo name? My name, L-A-D-E-S-S-A. L to the D to the L to the D to the L to the D to the Ladessa. What's good? How you doing? I'm happy anytime that we have an opportunity to be together. So you want to know why I'm here, right? Why I just showed up on your phone, at your house, on your TV, on your tablet. So I'm here because I, like yourself, am a victim or um, I have surrendered to YouTube made me buy it. So I'm going to present you with the YouTube made me buy it starter kit. But before we do all of that, whenever we're together, I just would like you to leave me a little tchotchke so I can always remember you. And that tchotchke is this little red button right here or right here. It's somewhere like down in here. If you hit that, it allows you to subscribe. And then each time I show up, your doorbell will ring. So you, there's a notification bell. So you know that I'm here. And then if you enjoy what we got going on, we can continue to get to know each other in the description box. And then you can, not description box, the comment, the comment section down below. And the reason I have to provide you with the starter kit, because of my girl down south with Danny, who is a makeup goddess. And she has all the high-end little finds. I mean, from Charlotte Tilbury to Mark Jacobs to Becca and all of that. My girl, she gonna have you broke. But I'm a I'm a guide you. I'm a I'm a lead you lead you and guide you over to Danny's way. Her eye card is right here. We're shouting her out this week, but baby steps. Baby steps before you get to Danny. But go see all that Danny has to offer. I absolutely love her. You ready? <laughs> here we go. So we've all done it. I've done it. You've done it. Your homegirls have told you about it or like your auntie, your mama, your cousin and them. And they've said, have you seen such and such and such and such on YouTube? And you've binged and you figured, I could do that. But your coin don't necessarily line up with, I could do that. So what I'm going to do is present you with the YouTube Made Me Buy It starter kit. For the most part, everything is going to be pretty affordable until you get your pay and your weight up, all right? So the first thing that everyone gets excited about is not foundation. It's these god dong palettes, okay? The palettes. Every time you turn around, there is some kind of palette dropping. All right, so to start off, one that you need beyond a shadow of a doubt is you need a Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place palette. You have to have one. YouTube said you have to have one. And the one that I believe everyone should start with is the Nubian palette. It's a really beautiful neutrals palette. It has all of your browns, your transition browns, your shimmer golds, your um warm tones right here this is a youtube made me buy it must have everybody has to have a juvia's place palette and then of course you have to have a collab do you know which collab i'm going to tell you about i talk about it all the time it's my, it's my, it's my Ray Ray. This palette right here is the It's My Ray Ray palette uh, that Ray right here on YouTube collaborated with BH Cosmetics. 
as you can see i have uh got my pay and my weight up with this palette it is a perfect go-to palette it has all of the colors that you need for a day to night look i really have not hit pan on this i'm actually really upset about it i dropped it while i was getting ready and this is the highlighter french toast and the cool thing about this palette is it has all of the starter colors that you need to go from day to night it has contouring and highlighting right here and the cool thing about it is youtube will tell you about all kinds of blushes but see what i'm gonna let you know is all you do is take whatever kind of blush color you think that you would like and you utilize one of these eyeshadows until you really know how to get your blush application on okay okay and of course you have to have a dupe <laughs> thanks to shop hush and the dupe that i have is the arabesque one and this is not the subculture one it is the not subculture not modern renaissance oh my god and i don't even have my phone i'll put it right here but you need a dupe so this is an abh dupe by bad habit and it has all of some really great transition shades some satin um satin shimmers and your glitter shimmers right here so you have to have a dupe all right now we haven't graduated to high-end palettes so this is the starter kit remember and of course you have to have a drugstore palette so i love and swear by the maybelline city minis this is the downtown sunrise and it's another warm neutral palette because we we haven't got there yet all right we's not stepping into blues and greens and yellows all right so that's our palettes and now that we've applied our eyes our shadow colors we need an eyeliner so our money ain't right just yet we still practicing so we gonna walk to see down to the walgreens or down to down to the walmart cvs target and get a nice jordana or wet and wild black liner this is a soft coal um black and it's like really really good so let me swatch so look how nice this goes on and it's a really nice black all right black liner and of course you have to have a brown lip liner i don't care from the lightest of hue to the darkest of hue you have to have a brown liner this one right here is from nyx and it is just called brown <laughs> it's just brown it's a matte lip liner it's a nyx suede and it's called actually called downtown beauty so it's a nice just a nice brown all right okay now for the lashes you don't know how to put your lashes on yet so you're going to take yourself down to the town to the dollar tree down to the walmart down to the walgreens and you are going to practice with these plastic lashes from wet and wild that'll run you a dollar or 98 cents at at walmart they're 98 cents at the dollar store they're a dollar and these are a nice wispy lash let me take them out the thing they're a nice wispy lash and they're easy to mold to your eyes and um yeah once you you know then if you want to graduate to lily and all the rest of them you do that after you've practiced with your dollar lashes all right and these um these lash packs come with your own glue all right so that's your lashes your mascara so i introduced um last week i introduced you to the sally dollar spindle 
So you could just watch Tootsie down to the Sally's for $1.69 and get, they have a waterproof and a volumizing and it has this little, little applicator brush right here, which is great for your lashes up top and your lashes at the bottom. $1.69. If you want to get a little, little fancy, you could go with the Rimmel London uh, Wonder Lash. This is a really nice volumizing lash. And it's got this kind of football kind of shaped applicator brush. And it really helps you get in there. And because the bristles are so spread apart, um, you can really get in there with your bottom lash line. So these things right here, these brows, I tried to stay away. But if you have time to practice a really great um pencil uh oh pencil that <laughs> because something dropped this is a perfect time for me to let you know that my girl courtney uh kh who we are celebrating this week her i card is right here head over to her channel her link will also be in the description box below and see what she is doing. That is one of my sisters in makeup. So um, check her out. But the Wet n Wild has a really nice brow pencil that has a nice little angle for you to practice. And the cool thing about it is it comes with a spoolie. So, you know, all the tutorials have told you to take your your natural brows and brush them up and then take your pencil and just outline the top and the bottom of your brow this is like $2.99 we don't know nothing about Anastasia and her pomade and all that kind of carrying on we don't need um you know the brow pencils by benefit wet and wild will suit you just fine so in order to clean up your brows, you need, oh. <laughs> Courtney, I love you. <laughs> um, you need a concealer. So here is the concealer that I use to clean up my brows and also underneath my eyes is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. They have them in every hue. So this is perfect and you just take this uh, concealer and you trace along the top and bottom of your eyebrows and then shape them to your desired shape. I am not equipped to provide you with a tutorial because I'm just not that tight yet. I mean, I can, I, I could work it out, but ain't nobody got time for me to be sending you through the, uh, 45 minutes almost that it takes me to get these brows together and then trying to cut it down to make it seem like I'm, you know, really that girl because I'm not. But there are plenty of tutorials down here on YouTube that'll teach you how to do it. So this is a really great concealer to use to clean up your brows and also for underneath. So we're going to come back to this again. All right, so we've taken care of our eyes. I do my eye looks first because fallout, I'm just not that great where I can apply my foundations first. Once you, once you, once you grow up a little bit, then you explore on whether or not you can get to that situation. So we've taken care of our eyes and now we're going to apply our foundations you need three type of foundations depending on your skin type all right so I have three here and the first one is if you have really dry skin I have combo skin so I get really oily right in here and then the outer perimeter of my face is really dry so we're just starting out so we're gonna walk Tootsie down to the Target down to the Walmart or down to the elf.com and get us some elf foundation for six dollars and um, this is a flawless finish um, foundation the coverage is absolutely amazing and it has SPF 15 in here in this elf so and the shade range is pretty limited but the gradient is there so that's a plus 
All right, if you have dry, I mean, oily skin, you need a mat. So there we go, down to the drugstore. And one of my new holy grails is the Maybelline 24 hour super stay. So we've covered dry skin and if you have oily skin and you would like a mat. So that's this. Now, if you just, you know, all your faves are ranting and raving about a high end foundation, you take yourself down to the Sephora and get you a sample of a high end foundation. They're supposed to give you at least two applications of a full face of foundation as they gave me right here. But some of them, they think that that's their stuff. This is not your stuff. Give me what I need to make sure that I can be a repeat customer. But if they get a little chintzy, all you do is make sure that you go into the standalone Sephora and then uh, Tootsie Roll down to the JCPenney Sephora and get you another sample. So you would have at least a couple of wears of your high-end foundation. Cause nobody got 38, 48, $52 for the foolishness and we just starting out all right and then it's summertime so you need a summer shade you can find your summer shade at the drugstore my summer shade happens to be the l'oreal true match um i am in cappuccino n8 this is actually the um the pump from the color pop matte foundation no bueno. I tried. It's not for me. YouTube made me buy it, but mm -mm. no and no. All right. So before you apply your foundations, you need a primer. All right. So ColourPop came out with their combo of, um, of setting, setting spray and primer. And this combo is actually really good and it only costs you $22. So we don't know nothing about Tatcha. We don't know nothing about uh, YSL and Urban Decay. And we don't know nothing about that. This is a starter kit. So this is a really good matte, um, matte primer if you have um oily skin and it doesn't like dry you out and suck all of your like natural oils out it just really plot um applies a really nice blurred canvas for you so i really 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 like this color pop um primer now if you just have to have it if you just have to have what your fave said you need and you like a more moisturizing type primer I give you permission to go down to the Ulta or down to the Sephora and get the Too, Fa Too Faced Hangover um, Hangover RX primer. But this is just the mini, the travel size. It's $15. You don't, you, you don't have $32 to get a full size because we don't even know if this is going to work on our skin yet. Or you could get a sample down to the Sephora. But this is a, another one of my holy grail so you can you see that you are allowed to get this all right if you would like a primer that's going to um that's hydrating and will um really blur out your your pores we're back down to elf we're going to get the elf poreless primer this is really silky and has a um Kind of a silicone based feel i actually really love this primer and it works well with all of my foundations from my high end to my drugstore so this is a really good primer and it only costs you ten dollars everything that i've showed you is under 20 bucks all right and now concealer so there are two types of concealer that you you are allowed to have in your starter kit one that is closer to your complexion which is my maybelline fit me or one that's just a shade lighter to give you like a highlight underneath your eyes color pop no filter concealer makes a wonderful full coverage concealer so either one of these two this is six dollars this is 5.99 so you can you are allowed to have 
one of these two. We don't know nothing about Too Faced and Urban Decay and Becca and all of them. We don't know nothing about that because we're just starting out. So these are allowed to be in your starter kit. All right. And I don't know how I forgot this, but you need a headband. You have to, you have to have a headband. I purchased this. This is actually a baby bath headband. I got this from the dollar store and I have like three or four of these and I just put these on before I apply my makeup. So you don't have to get the little bunny ears they sell at Sephora or anything like that. This right here will suit you just fine and it's cuter. All right, down to the dollar store. All right, and then we are going to um, talk about how you apply your foundation. Um, I have I have the BH um, Rose Gold brush set, but they're dirty, so I didn't want to show you dirty brushes. But a brush set a brush set is really really great, and that brush set comes with a case, and it's only fifteen ninety nine. And I'll show there'll be a picture right here, and then a really really great applicator sponge. We don't have Beauty Blender money, plus they're canceled. This right here by Sonia Kushik or Kushik, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she makes a really great, that brand makes a really great sponge. One for $7 or two for 10 in a pack. So this is the sponge that I use and I swear by it. So one for seven or two for 10, what are we doing? The two for 10. So this is a, a great sponge to use. All right, so after you've applied your concealer, depending on you know where you are in the starter kit process and what you like if you prefer a more highlighted look you can use a a, a setting powder that has more of a yellow a yellow hue my favorite drugstore one is the elf beauty shield and i mean it's really nice and soft and the 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 uh it's a mess in here but the hue is really um really nice and light so it's not really dark like a um like a true banana powder but it's um it's really great and so i would suggest that you use that um not necessarily baking because we don't know how to bake yet with starter kit we're just applying to kind of put that in to set our concealer or in our smile lines and then we're brushing it away with one of the brushes from our bh cosmetics brush set all right, if you do not like a more highlighted look underneath your eye, you get a flesh tone colored or your, your closest to your natural tone setting powder. Um, when I want more of a just kind of an even finish, I use the Maybelline Fit Me in, what is this, the deep. So this is the one that I use from the drugstore. And so it's closest to my skin tone. Oh, I lost you for a minute. Okay. So if you want something that's going to set you just more evenly, but doesn't give you a brightness, you can use a translucent. This one right here is by Ruby Kisses from the uh, beauty supply store. And it's a, it's the HD set and forget 16 hour flawless rub proof a translucent powder. And this one is actually really, really nice. It doesn't leave that white cast. And there's no flashback. So this one I think is like $3.99 at the beauty supply store. So these are the three that you can use. All right. So we've done our palettes. We've done our foundation. We've done our eyes. We've done our primers. And um, I talked about the ColourPop setting spray. This is like a really, I mean, it just sets everything like flawlessly and um, if you have oily skin or your oils seem to pop through um, it, it really shields it for quite a few hours but again I'm gonna give you one little bonus all right if you just want to feel like you know you kind of fancy you fancy huh you can go down to the Ulta or you could go down to the Sephora and I allow you to have one of the Urban Decay travel size, either D Slick or All Nighter setting spray. Both of these just set your 
makeup flawlessly and I love the D slick because it really holds the oils at bay so you're allowed to have this because this is only $15 all right so one other this is not really a setting spray it just is a perfecting spray just like everything with your makeup just just like melts together and your look is just flawless before you put in you know put on a real setting spray the um, mac uh fix plus we're not old enough in the game yet to buy this size so ulta and um the mac store and like your macy's or whatever local uh department store like a dealer or something will have this in the travel size so you get the travel size and and watch what fix plus will do for you okay i lost you again okay we're gonna wrap this up there's a step that i forgot you need your lips you got to pull these lips together child so we we don't know necessarily what lipsticks we should have, but there are three staples that you must have. You have your brown liner for your lips. You need a pinky kind of nude gloss. This one is right here from uh, Victoria's Secret. A nice little pinky gloss. Then you need a brown shimmery gloss. This was the um, Ellery and ColourPop collab in Stilo. And trust me and believe me, you can wear red lipstick. So you are allowed to make another high-end purchase down to the Mac store. Every girl, I don't care who you are, what your hue is, you have to have a Ruby Woo in your arsenal. This is every girl's starter red. Not Wet n Wild, not any other brand but mac and ruby woo it's a nice just beautiful velvety matte red you are allowed to have that all right so now we've had a full beat we've had a wonderful day and now it's time to take all of this mess off you need a really nice creamy based remover and i'm trying to figure out where my pawns is <sighs> where is my pawns oh it's over here hold on all right sorry about that we don't have money for clinique's take the day off we don't have that starter kit starter kit pawns cold cream good old pods you just take this and slather it all over your face and just let it sit avoid your eyes of course we don't have any money for makeup wipes we are taking ourselves right down to the walmart and we are getting some baby wipes these new ones that i have are um from parents choice they're triple material, so they're nice and thick, and they have Meister water in them. I got a three-pack for about $7, and each one of these packs have 72 wipes in them. So what you would pay for a Neutrogena wipe of 30, you get three packs of 72 down to the Walmart. And we're going to slather that on and wipe that off with our wipe. So now we've cleaned off our face and now it's time to clean our brushes. We don't know any, and our sponge, we don't know anything about Beauty Blender and none of that other stuff that they're trying to sell us. You don't need to use your baby shampoo or your dishwashing liquid or your Dove soap. You want to see down to the Walmart and for a nice 98 cents, you get this big bar of Zoped soap. And it is going to last you from the time you move from your starter kit to your high end until you have your cousin and them lining up for you to be their MUA. And I have had this thing for I don't know how long because how do you get rid of this? How do you get rid of this? So you've cleaned your face, you've cleaned your brushes and um, other little ancillary things that you have to have, of course, 
before I bid you adieu is you need a mirror with magnifying. I'll push this back with magnifying aspects. So this is a two times magnifying. This is a three times. And then this is just, you know, your regular mirror. And then this is just a regular mirror. You don't need five times. Don't nobody want to see all of that. We know, you know, that though we're flawless and we wake up like this, we, we don't really want to be that deep where we need to be, you know, five times. But you need a magnifying mirror. I got this from Amazon. I think it was like 13 bucks. And... Of course, in case you make some mistakes, you walk Tootsie down to the Dollar Tree and get you um, a 350 count, very low cotton at each tip, cotton swabs. And you just, you know, you pick those up and clean those up. And that's everything. Your starter kit, your YouTube Baby Buy It starter kit is complete. It wasn't necessarily in order, but I've covered all of the bases, our eyes from our brows, to our lashes, to our mascara, to our liner, our foundation, whether we're oily, matte, um, I mean oily, dry, or summer, we've covered that. We covered our primers, whether we need a matte or a moisturizing or a blur priming. And we have our palettes, we've got our lip products together and our setting sprays. And I've given you some allowances so you don't have to be completely on the cheap end. You've covered your collabs. You've covered your dupes. And that's it. So with all of that, always remember to pack light. Because bag lady, bag man, you and me too going to hurt our backs. Dragging all them bags like that. So go forth, carry forward with your starter kit and slay. I will see you on the next one. Bye.